Hello on Mirror's Edge community. Um, as you can see this is my first post but I've been messing around with the demo and I thought I'd share some of this with you. It seems like a good community and I'd like to contribute a little bit to it. Now I'm sitting here playing the demo for Mirror's Edge and counting down the days until it's out much like you are. So uh, let me just quickly show you some of the things I really think are cool about this game so far some things that I really love about the demo a couple of secrets uh, a couple of pads that I personally prefer as opposed to the ones that they suggest with the uh, runner's eye so uh, but before you watch the rest of this I'm gonna show you all the secret areas I know of in the demo and uh, so if you wanna find it on your own stop this video now don't blame me if I spoil it for you but uh, other than that I hope you enjoy this pretty quick video and uh, let's just count down the days until Mirror's Edge is out. Alright, so let's take a look first at their suggested run. Obviously, jump over the glass, slide under the bars, but then you follow the runner's vision, jump on the plank, and down the zip line. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they want you to do next, but I think they expect you to jump up the side of the building and then across over onto the uh, balancing beam only without the fall to your horrible death but an alternative route that I came up with it's I, I don't think it's faster but I think it has a little bit more style once again you slide down but instead of going over the zip line by the plank you run around the edge of the building, kick off, and go down the zip line. Now instead of climbing up the side of the building, you can do a, a double wall jump right over here. Bounce one, bounce two. Uh, that one might be a little bit quicker. But once again, you do not want to fall to your death. Now in the demo, I found four secret areas. Um, the first one is right over here. Run towards this plank and make a sharp turn left you'll end up on this uh, this air vent sticking out of the side of a building there isn't actually anything up here um, but the programmers uh, probably didn't expect you to land there so um, I count it as the first secret the second area is right next to the uh, first once again you're going to go towards the plank and this time you're gonna jump across onto one of the two steam pipes hanging out of the side of this building right here what you want to do is turn around and jump onto this roof this is the second secret area now um this is a pretty big area as you can see i'm running over here all the way to the edge and well as you just i don't i don't know if this recorded it but the camera kind of clipped through the building I could see through it for a second so um, I'll probably go back and check back later uh, I had some fun before doing this one stunt running from one box to the other which I just failed horribly to do it's it's a very long distance but if you run along the wall and jump at just the right time you actually can make it it's a really really far distance so it, it makes me kinda think of uh, what kind of crazy jumps they're gonna have us do in the game to get to some secret areas hopefully I, I get to show you and not keep making a fool out of myself um, it helps if you angle your camera up a little bit I, I, it kinda controls which direction you're going I almost made it that time so what you want to do is wall run and jump at the last possible second let's try this again there we go so um, let's do it one more time for good measure and uh yep that's it and so like i said that that really is a pretty far jump take a look uh let's get a higher vantage point and take a look from upstairs see this also happens to be the third secret area um once again uh, right next to the first and second but um there's a few more tricks to do to get here you just jump right over that gate you see from this end before you go into that red door just wall run right over the uh, right over the barbed wire fence 
Now, aside from the four secret areas, there's also a couple of hidden messages I found. The first one I read about on, on your forums when I first visited, it's right up by this air duct. I don't know if you could see it in the recording, because my recorder always seems to make everything really dark. But, um... But it kind of gives me a a portal vibe to it. Like the, uh, the rat man areas. The second one is, uh past the second red door so you run up these stairs you break through the second red door and instead of going through the third red door turn right here and jump up this shelf with the boxes and you'll see a strange message that says vote Pope if you listen in on their conversations you can um you hear a radio announcement talking about a, I guess a presidential race probably ties into the storyline now before I show you a fourth secret area I'm gonna show you a uh, Another little thing I found over here, uh, kind of a mini secret area is the top of this billboard. Now you can actually get all the way to the top of this billboard and um, have a pretty nice view. Before you try and get up there you have to deal with these guards busting through the door. They're chasing you down and uh, but instead of running like I should be, I'm going to wait for them to open it and uh, show them a thing or two. So once you've dealt with these two guards, you just want to jump up onto this roof. And uh, your objective is to catapult yourself, to stand on the second beam, and then jump from the second beam onto the third, the top beam. Like this. You don't want to grab onto the third beam because you will catapult yourself and uh, die another horrible 40-story death like I did before. And um, you get a really nice view of the city. And... Um, and oddly enough, if you take a look across at the, the two guards that were chasing you, they just kind of stare at you. They don't shoot anymore. If you take a couple of steps forward, they'll start shooting. Like you magically walk into their range of sight. Back up again, and then they won't, uh, they'll stop firing. I guess they just can't see you there. Alright. I've uh, had enough tangents. Let, let us move on, and I'll show you the last secret area I found. Secret area number four is right by those guards. Um, it's right over here behind this uh, this barbed wire fence. It took me a while to get there. I kept looking at it, hoping I could get there. And um, and the way to do it is first just drag out these guards so they're not blocking you. Wait for them to pass the fence. Run like hell. And simply just, or so it seems, jump up this door right here. I kind of feel like I glitched, because this is the first time, this recording is actually the first time I've gotten up here. But once you're up here, you get to take a look around at um, at the roof, and then drop down in between the, uh, the two barbed wire fences. So this is the last secret area, and um, this was the last one for me to find. Like I said, this recording is actually the first time I was in here myself. The only problem with this area is there's no leaving. Um, these buildings right here are, are not programmed to let you out. You can't grab on. Well, there you have it. Um, my favorite is secret area number four. But like I just showed you, you can't get out once you get in. The only thing you could do is jump off the roof and uh, start over. Getting up on that door was actually the only time I was able to do it. So if someone else can get up there, uh, please share with me how you did it, because uh, that recording was in fact the first time I got up there myself, and the only time. I've been trying a whole bunch, but I just cannot get up onto that roof again. So uh, once again, I really love this uh, community here on Mirror's Edge. I hope to be a frequent visitor after the game releases. There's a lot of secrets to find, I'm sure. And um, that's it for tonight. It's time for me to go to sleep. See ya.